What is the Public Land Survey System, or PLSS? This is Dave at TitleSearch.com, and this video is for all the title geeks out there uh, that really want to know about um, some detailed, old-school methods of creating property boundaries. Uh, in the mid-1800s, as some of you know, there was a federal government uh, program that created a property division system or identification system across the country called the PLSS or Public Land Survey System. It was used to create legal descriptions for every parcel of land across the country. Almost all of the country was surveyed using this system. There's some parts of um, uh, some states that don't have it. Uh, the 13 col original colonies are not normally part of the PLSS. The uh, state of Texas, which was purchased um, through a different uh, land grant uh, is not part of it and some other states California Hawaii have sections that aren't part of this but the way that it works is there was a, a huge volume of surveyors sent across the country with a survey kit and it had chains and poles and the way that they surveyed the entire country was they set up a pole at a certain point and they had a 66 foot long chain and they ran that chain to another pole and they measured the distance and they put markers at certain points. That entire region of the country from the 13 colonies all the way to the west coast was measured, surveyed, and plotted out using these chains and poles. And you can imagine the complexity of that going through places where there's water or woods or obstacles, but the entire country was measured this way. It basically breaks down every section of the country into boxes and the boxes are called sections, townships, ranges, depending upon if it's north or south. And any piece of property can be uh, surveyed or described with original boundaries from those boxes. Uh, even so, uh, over the years, some of those boxes were broken down into smaller units. Uh, and those smaller units are described as sections of the original larger box. For example, you may have a northwest quarter of the southwest quarter of this certain box. Uh, those are called aliquot um, property descriptions. Uh, the boundaries are much easier to describe when they're in boxes rather than the formerly used meets and bounds descriptions which starts and could go any different directions, uh, different degrees other than 90 degrees. Uh, so the public land survey system created a method of legal descriptions of properties which is easier to identify, more succinct to use uh, for an ultimate property identifier and again most of the country is under this PLSS so you may see a legal description on a property that will have quarter units and half units of certain boxes. Now if a boundary doesn't fit an exact north-south uh, box then there's a section of that legal which will you know break off one little area um, in a non-standard method, but it all starts from what's called witness markers, uh, identifying these corners of boxes. Um, the original lines that start these boxes go by prime meridians um, of actual latitude and longitude. There's certain uh, latitude lines that are used for the baselines of much of the uh, box um, breakup of the properties. Now one uh, kind of interesting uh, fact is um, even if you draw straight lines across the country, the fact that the curvature of the earth uh, exists, these boxes can't be exactly matched up. So every once in a while there's going to be a little offset to where these corners are. Another variable which makes some of these uh, legal descriptions interesting is that the payment made to the surveyors uh, in some cases was a combination of cash and a combination of rum. So you may find that some legal descriptions over the years have become a little bit, let's say, inaccurate uh, because they may have done some surveying after they were paid in rum and some of the, uh, the survey boundaries aren't exact. In fact, there's an area uh, in the northern United States, um, in New York State and also in Pennsylvania, where there's um, a question whether or not the boundary between the U.S. and Canada in New York State is actually accurate. They've actually had to move the line a pretty significant distance and that's changed some international uh, treaties and even uh, border crossings uh, because the actual border from one country to another is different than what they thought it was. So the PLSS is something that you don't normally hear about. 
uh, as a user of a title search, you may not need to know exactly the origin, but when you read your legal description and it has the northwest quarter of the southwest quarter of such and such of township and range, that's where that came from. And the original survey from 150 plus years ago is what created the legal description of your property. If we can help you with a title search, reach us at titlesearch.com. You can click the link below. There's also many more videos on our video library about other subjects related to title searching.